Good morning and welcome to Potions for Muggles. Today we're going to take common muggle ingredients and make a potion that you might find in the wizarding world. Today we're going to make Amortentia Potion, which as you may know is a love potion. Now we cannot guarantee how effective this will be, but using items you might already have in your home, you should be able to recreate this potion. You will need four ingredients. First, a packet of Kool-Aid. Second, some baking soda. Third, some simple syrup. You can buy this pre-made, either Tarani or other brand, or you can make this at home. And water. All right. We're going to start getting our potion ready. We're going to start by measuring one tablespoon of Kool-Aid mix. Now, you can use any flavor of Kool-Aid mix you like, but because this is a love potion, you should use a flavor that you love. So in this case, I'm using grape. I'm going to measure one quarter teaspoon and put it into my glass. Next, we're going to use our quarter teaspoon measure again to measure one quarter teaspoon of baking soda. We're going to put that in our glass. And then we're just going to mix that up a little bit so that the baking soda and the Kool-Aid are combined. And now we're going to measure two tablespoons of our simple syrup. Now this is very, very sweet. It's basically um, like a sugar syrup. So you may need to adjust the taste of this to something that you like. But we'll see our potion start to form once we've added our simple syrup. So here's one tablespoon. Here is our second tablespoon. And you might be able to see already the reaction taking place. Our potion is bubbling, it's getting bigger. We're going to let this sit for just a couple of minutes while the reaction forms. We want to make sure it's a really good strong potion. and it will actually get many, many times bigger in size. That's how you know it's working. I can usually wait until my glass is about half full, and then I know that the chemical reaction is just about done. Lots of bubbles. Okay. You can tell this potion is working really well. Do you see it's about halfway filled in my glass? And then to finish it off and actually make this drinkable, we're going to start with about half a cup of water. You can add more water if it's too sweet for you. I would not recommend adding less because it's very, very sweet. And you can just pour that right on top of your solution. Give it a little mix with one of your spoons. It's fizzing nicely. And now our potion is complete. Once again, you can make this any flavor you like. This is a grape flavored love potion because in the muggle world, we can choose which flavor we want. Ah, that can keep you up for hours. A lot of love there. All right, thank you for joining our potion making demonstration. Um, please visit leonialibrary.org for other programs and for more craft ideas. Have a great day.